In this episode of Roma Custom Bike, we'll examine the difference between a CV carburetor and a flat slide one, namely a Mikuni HSR42. Hi folks, I'm Custom Chess for Roma Custom Bike and I'm back to talk about a subject that comes up very often in all Harley Davidson forums and chats. Does a Mikuni carburetor with a price tag of about $300 make a big difference compared to a stock or stage 1 CV carburetor? The quick answer, in my opinion, it's yes, it's totally worth it. But let's see why and how does it work, starting from how it's different from a stock carburetor. I've already made two videos on how the stock CV carburetor works and how to rebuild it. The links are in the description, but let's do a quick recap. In the CV carburetor, and CV stands for constant velocity, the throttle cable is hooked up to a butterfly valve. As it opens, it transfers the vacuum created by the engine to a chamber on top of the carburetor that applies suction onto a membrane that pulls up the slide and allows fuel and air to enter the combustion chambers. This type of system creates some kind of smoothing effect between the throttle twisting action and the actual opening of the slide. As you can see in the graph, even if you try to twist the throttle in a very abrupt way, the effect from the vacuum system smooths out any jerkiness in fuel delivery, providing the right amount of it to the engine proportionally to the amount of low pressure generated by the engine itself. This is also why it's called the constant velocity, because the system is engineered to maintain the airflow at constant velocity between the air intake and the manifold by preventing the slide from opening too quickly. Now, let's take a look at the flat slide carburetor, in this case a Mikuni HSR42. Just like on the CV type, we have all the basic elements of a carburetor. The float that keeps the bolt filled with fuel, the pilot jet, main jet, needle and slide to provide the engine with fuel at all RMP ranges and the adjustment screw that, differently from the CV carburetor, regulates the amount of air at idle conditions. In this type of carburetor, the throttle cable is hooked up directly to the slide. As you twist the throttle, the slide opens immediately at the same rate as you twist, with no smoothing effect. By taking a look at the graph, we can see the direct relationship between the twisting of the throttle and the opening of the slide. And by comparing it to the one from the CV carburetor, we can see that the driver has total control on the amount of fuel and the rate of delivery, with no smoothing effect and independently from the requirements of the engine. It's worth noting that while in the Harley stock carburetor the adjustment screw is located on the manifold side of the carb and regulates the amount of fuel at idle with a fixed amount of airflow, in the Mikuni carb the idle mixel adjustment screw is located in the air intake side and regulates the amount of air to mix in. Now, let's look at the pros and cons of both carburetors. The CV stock carb is a great piece of equipment. With the jetting kit, you can make it perform to its best. It is great for fuel economy because it never feeds the engine more than it actually needs. In addition to that, the smoothing effect makes for a pretty comfortable ride with delicate acceleration and deceleration, even with a nervous style driver. Last but not least, CV carbs do allow for some altitude adjustment, mainly related to engine vacuum based on the amount of oxygen in the air. Now, let's take a look at the flat slide carburetor. You, the driver, will get full control over the acceleration and deceleration of the bike and this alone will stick your butt to the seat in an all new and exciting way. At wide open throttle, there is nothing in the way of the air and fuel getting to the engine. Another great feature of this Mikuni carburetor is that you can adjust pretty much everything, from the shape and position of the main needle to when and how much fuel the accelerator pump sprays into the manifold. There is even an easy access spot to the bottom of the bowl to change the main jet without taking anything apart. 
With all this freedom, you can really dial in the settings for your bike, although most Harley guys will end up with a 20 pilot jet, the needle with the clip in the middle, and a 165 main jet. Take this as a good starting point. There are obviously some downsides too, the throttle control becomes very sensitive, sometimes you don't want to take off like you're at the drag strip and without the smoothing effect it all comes down to your wrist, both in acceleration and deceleration. If you're not careful it can be a pretty rough ride and especially for your passenger will not be very enjoyable. Without the vacuum system, there is also no altitude or atmospheric compensation built in and, most of all, the slide makes a whole lot of noise due to the pressure differential between the intake cycles. This pushes and pulls the slide in and out in the truck, creating a clicking sound. The type of cam and muffler might accentuate this effect. With that said, the bottom line is that it all depends on your riding style. In my opinion, although I consider the CV to be one hell of a carburetor, the ease of adjustment and the crazy acceleration boost you get from a Mikuni is well worth the price tag. You do have to keep it in check with your wrist if you want an easy and smooth ride, which can get tiring in traffic. But then again, when you open the throttle, it really lets you know where your money went. Of course, it needs to be tweaked properly and to really shine, it needs to work in combination with a good airbox, some mufflers and maybe a performance cam, but you already knew that. Don't forget to check out our other carburetor how-to and rebuild videos and remember to subscribe to the channel to get notified of new videos. I'm Custom Chess for Roma Custom Bike and I'll see you next time.